The objective is to extend the use of place value disks to represent 3 and 4 digit by 1 digit multiplication. Let's take a look at this problem here. 2 times 234. And let's represent this with disks. We'll also write a matching equation recording the partial products. And let's do that vertically. So let's write 234, and in which case we're multiplying by 2. We'll represent it with a disk by using a place value chart where we have hundreds, tens, and ones. First off, we're looking at 234. Remember, we're multiplying by 2. 234, that is two hundreds, three tens, and how many ones? Right, four ones. And what are we multiplying by? Right, we are multiplying by two. So what do we do in the ones place? Another group of four ones. In the tens place, and we have three more tens, and in the hundreds place, we have two hundreds. So that number there, we have eight ones there, six tens, and four hundreds. So our answer there should be 468. Let's show our partial products. That's two times what? Right, four ones. Next, we're looking at the next digit in 234, or the three tens. So that's two times three tens. And finally, we have two times two what? Right, hundreds. What are each of these things worth? Two times four ones is what? Eight ones, which is worth eight. Two times three tens is six tens which we write as 60, and 2 times 2 hundreds is 4 hundreds. What do I do with those three partial products? I will add them. Carefully adding them together, I do get 468. Here we have 327 times 4. Let's do the same type of thing, where we will model it within the place value chart. And we also write a partial products. Let's break apart 327. That's three hundreds. How many tens? Two tens, and how many ones? Seven ones. Next, we know that we are multiplying by 4. So, within the 1's place, if we are to multiply by 4, then we're multiplying 4 times that 7, or those 7 1's. Let's write out the partial products right here this time. 4 times 7 1's. So, we have to have... 4 times that 7 ones there. And we will do the same type of thing within the tens place, except we only have 2 tens there. So that's what times 2 tens? Well, we're multiplying by what? 4. So let's make some more tens there. And then finally, in the hundreds place, we have 4 times what? 3 hundreds. What do we do with all those partial products? Well, we add them. 4 times 7 ones would be 28 ones. 4 times 2 tens is 8 tens, which is worth 80. And 4 times 3 hundreds would be 12 hundreds, and we can add them together. 
Within the place value chart, I'm also going to show you the regroupings. Well, there's seven here. So that's eight, nine, and ten. Seven more. Eight, nine, and ten. With one more left over. So that's why that is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And we regrouped two sets of ten. So we better make two more here. And then so that's in the tens place. Looks like now we have ten of them. And we can regroup it over to the hundreds. And in the hundreds place, I have 13 of them. I could take those there and regroup them to the thousands place. 3, 6, 9, and 10. So that's 1, 3, 0 tens, and 8 ones. 1,308. So that's how it is that we can model and show 327 times 4. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and show your work here for 3 times 208. Be sure to use a place value chart and also show your partial product multiplication. Pause the video while you do your work. Did you start with 8 ones? And with those 8 ones, we're multiplying by 3. Just like we're doing here in our partial products, that would be 8 ones times 3, which is 24 ones. Draw an arrow there as well if you want. Next, there's no tens yet within our partial products, so we go all the way to the hundreds place, which would be 2 hundreds times 3. which is six hundreds, which we write as six zero zero. Adding those together, we should get six hundred twenty-four. Within our place value chart, we did work with our eight ones already. We did not work with our two hundreds, so we will work with our two hundreds. Remember, we're multiplying by three. Let's regroup to larger units within the ones place. Looks like we can go ahead and regroup once there, and then we can regroup another set of ten there to the tens place. So we're, we have the number 6, 2, 4. Check over your work. Here is something a little bit different, where it is that we will be showing a partial products drawing on a place value chart. And we will go ahead and show that partial products drawing on that place value chart with 741 times 3. We are still working with those partial products. So for that first partial product, we're looking at 1, 1 times 3. And then so this is how we'll show it within our place value chart. We're looking at that first partial product of 3 times that 1, 1. So we have 3 ones. And draw an arrow in that direction there. Next, our next partial product that we have there is this 3 times the 4. And that 4 is worth 4 tenths. So that 3 times the 4 tenths is 12 tenths which is also written as 120. And that there is 102 tens. Next, we're looking at that next line there, where it is that we're looking at 700s and 3 times 700s. 3 times 700s is 2,100. And we show 2,100 into our place value chart as 2,000s and 100. So this shows our partial products of 3 ones, of 100 
with two tens or one hundred twenty, and two thousands with one hundred or two thousand one hundred. Again, we're using partial products drawing on a place value chart. What would the total product recorded not only in the vertical problem and in our place value chart, what would it be? What do we do with all those numbers? Same as before, we would add them. So we have 3, 2, 2, 2. So 2,223, which we also could read from our place value chart. There's 3 there, there's 2 there, there's another 2 there in the hundreds place, and there's another 2 in the thousands place. The number 2,223. Okay, it is your turn to try. Let's go ahead and solve the problem. 4 times 2,103 using partial products drawing on a place value chart. So be careful how it is that you are breaking this down. Remember that first line is going to be 3 ones times 4. That will be the first thing into that place value chart. It looks like we need ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Go ahead and pause the video while you are working it out and working out your answer. So we have that place value chart. That first line should be three ones times four, which is 12, which is one ten, and two ones. The next line should be four, times the 1 here. That 1 is worth 100, so that's 100 times 4, which is, what? 400. And then, of course, we model that right within our place value chart. Finally, on the last part of our partial products drawing on the place value chart, we're looking at 4 times the 2, and the 2 being worth thousands, so that's two thousands times 4, which is 8 thousands. And of course, if we added those carefully, we would get our answer of 8,412. 8,000 within our plates value chart, modeled with disks within that fashion there. And then we can go ahead and record our number, 2, 1, 4, 8 or 8,412. And that there again is partial products drawing on a place value chart. It helps us see how it is that those partial products appear 